Yeah, I haven't done theater in two years. For this and my life, th this is it. Whoa, like this is gonna be like scary and exciting and like terrifying, but I'm so like just ready for it. <laughs> it sounds so simple to say, but I'm just so excited. I think there's been like a bit of a buildup of, of waiting and sort of starting and stopping when it comes to live theater. And, and I'm so excited at this opportunity. I think there's also something that about the last two years that have made us really purposeful and we're not taking for granted that we're putting on a play. It's been really fulfilling. There's so many minds in the room that are super smart and everyone's bringing so much to the table. Everyone is coming with these different perspectives and even different viewpoints of the same characters and it is fascinating. We all listen to the same monologue and one person being like, wow, so dreamy, I love it. And one person being like, wow, so dangerous. I would completely stay away <laughs> like because of how we're seeing the words or how we would want to be interacted with. And it just, again, gives each of us the opportunity to hear those different perspectives and bring a fullness. The freedom to, to voice, you know, the different perspectives, you know, that each person has on, on the story, on the characters, you know, having the discussion after voicing those perspectives. This is not your mama's rendition of Little Women. You're gonna see people of all different colors and all different cultural backgrounds um, telling the story that you've known forever. And we are going to celebrate um, all of the things that make us human. I'm really excited to see how it all comes together with the costumes and the lights and especially like the set design. We have some really, really cool ideas that we're percolating on. So I'm just so excited to be able to do it in front of people and to see how everyone um, interacts with this piece. I really like the label of maker almost more as director because I really see the collaborative nature and how rich things become when you create a space where everyone feels heard and seen. Aubrey gives us the space to just really look at these people as people um, instead of just characters on a page. And I think that's really important, especially when you're bringing them to life. Audiences can expect to see their favorite characters, but see parts of their favorite characters that maybe they've never really thought about before. I, I really want to make sure that the audience understands what it is to actually tell your own story. And what an act of bravery that is. Audiences can expect to see the messiness, the arguments, the identity crises, and the love that comes with a family. And audiences will be able to see themselves in every single one of those characters.